Hello, my name is Joe from Express and today I'm going to walk you through how to set up the spot colour white using Illustrator for Versaworks. Now specifically this is going to work best for the BN20D but it can also be applied to things like the LEF or the BN20 with white ink in there. When using white ink on the BN20D you have actually got the option just to automatically generate the colour white. In this example we're going to go to quality, we're going to change our resolution so that it's the white ink resolution. We can then generate a special colour plate and this will automatically generate white in the print area. We can also do outside the print area and we can do the entire image which will just flood the entire square with white ink. Now although these work really well they don't work 100% correctly. As you can see in this design here, we have a lot of white space where we would still need to print white there because it's the colour white inside the image, but unfortunately Versaworks can't quite work out where to print white and where not to without there being any print data there. So one option would be to go into the file and change the colours so that it isn't 100% white, then it would allow you to print it. But the easier option, and by far the preferred way, is to use the white spot colour. The white spot colour can be found in Illustrator by heading to your swatches. And you can then open a new swatch library. If we then head to the Versaworks, Swatch, Illustrator and Roland Versaworks. We can then open the Roland Versaworks palette which has the colour RDG underscore white. Normally we will have opened this for you on your install but just in case we haven't there's an easy way to find it. Once you have the Vo Roland Versaworks palette open we can then begin to work on our design. So for this one here we can copy and paste the design so we have two versions. Now this top version, this one here, is going to be our white layer. So if we head to image trace and use one of the preset image trace functions, we can get the general shape of the design. Now that we have the general set shape, we can expand this, ungroup, click off into the negative space and delete any white background that you don't want to print. We can do this from the entire image, just like this, really straightforward. Now you can go along every single little piece inside the design, especially the centre of text to make sure that there is no additional parts that we're going to print white into when we don't need to. Not only is that a waste of white ink but it also won't look great on the finished product either. Now that that's done we can take the entire image just by dragging and selecting the whole thing and we can then make it RDG white. That should then fill the entire area with your white spot colour. And if you want to at this point you can go along and just make sure that you do have absolutely every centre area of the text deleted. It's sometimes a lot easier to see once you've changed it to the grey colour. Once you've completed filling all of the areas with the spot colour white, at this point we can now group this to make it one piece, select both parts of the design and use the control tab up here to pop them right on top of each other. So you've got these little tools here, you've got horizontal align centre and vertical align centre. Once they are done, we can then select our top layer, which should be our white layer, and send it to the back. And with that, 
you should end up with your colour on top and your white layer behind. If you find that after you've done this, there is other little areas that you'd want to get rid of, you can just delete those, regroup everything, put them back together again. Once you've got it right, you should end up with your white layer exactly where you need it to be. Once your white layer is in the correct place, we can then save this file and take it to VersaWorks. Once complete, bring your file into VersaWorks and check that we have the special items white ink visible here. As long as it is, we can then go into the file, go to the quality tab and change our resolution and immediately we should then have our final white design. As you can see, it's a solid block of white without any gaps where the white areas are and this is exactly what we need. Thank you for watching this Express Technical tutorial. For more videos, feel free to subscribe to the channel. If you have any further queries, please head to expresstechnical.co.uk.